this video we are going to discuss Cisco Mirakis wireless project. As any project, we will go through the three phases, planning, deployment, and testing. Let's begin. The objective is to broadcast two SSIDs, business and guest. We will start with the business SSID. To access the network, we should authenticate with a radius server using 802.1x standard. Encryption by Wi-Fi protected access. WPA2 Client should be part of the LAN network with the same DHCP server. As a layer 3 firewall, we should allow wireless clients to access the LAN network. As for layer 7 firewall, it should deny all gaming communications. Finally, for the quality of service, we should expedite all productivity communications while making sure voice, video, and conferencing traffic to be marked as a short forwarding for class of service. Let's do the business SSID configuration. From the Cisco Meraki dashboard, we navigate to the wireless tab and we click on SSID below the configuration. We rename the default SSID to business. Next, we do the same thing to the guest SSID. Then we save the configuration. Following this, we click on access control. We make sure that we are configuring the business SSID. Then from the network access menu, we choose enterprise with my radius server. We check the Wi-Fi protected access encryption mode is on WBA2. We scroll down to the radius server settings. We add the IP address, the default port, 1812, and then we type the secret key. Now we will test the communication between Cisco Miraki MR access point and the radius server. We go to the addressing and traffic configuration section and we select bridge mode to have the clients part of the LAN network. Finally, we save the configuration. Next, we will do the firewall and traffic shaping. We allow business wireless clients to access the local network and we deny access for all gaming applications. At the end, we make sure the traffic shaping rules are followed. Now, we will set up the guest SSID. Guests should have a captive portal to access the network using sponsored guest login and a guaranteed 4 hours of internet access. For the guest client, we should isolate DHCP IP assignment provided by the wireless solution. We deny guest wireless clients to access the local LAN. We block all online backup applications. Finally, we should limit the bandwidth to 5 megabits per second, as well as limiting all social web and photo sharing to 500 kilobits per second with low data priority class of service. We will now apply this configuration to the dashboard. We navigate to the wireless access control and we make sure that we are in the SSID guest. Then we scroll down to the splash page or captive portal and we choose sponsor guest login for association. Next, we type the sponsor email domain and we allow 4 hours of guest access duration. At the addressing and traffic section, we make sure to use Miraki DHCB mode. Then we click on the save button. After that, we navigate to the firewall and traffic shaping and we apply layer 3 firewall rule, which is to deny guest clients from accessing the local LAN network. Next, we apply layer 7 firewall rule which is to deny all online backup applications. At the end, we limit the bandwidth to 5 megabits per second and we disable the default traffic sharing rules. And we set all social web and photo sharing to 500 kilobits per second with low data priority. Finally, we save the configuration to start actioning. Now, we will test both SSIDs. An employee will attempt to access the business SSID with the username and password using 802.1x. Then we verify the IP address from the network DHCP server. The speed should be unlimited for the MDE. In this case, it's 200 megabits per second, which is matching the uplink speed. For the guest test, the client will click on the guest SSID, where a captive portal will open to fill his or her name, email address, and the sponsor email address. At that moment, the sponsor will receive an email in order to approve the guest's internet access. We verify the IP address from the Miraki DHCB range. 
Now we will do the speed test. As expected, the maximum bandwidth per client is 5 megabits per second. Using Cisco Miraki solutions, the project was successful. Thanks so much for watching.